Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Star Trek Resurgence. And in the last episode, guys, we saw just how deep the Takan takeover is going, how ambitious their plans are, but probably the most important thing that happened in the last stream is that the USS Resolute has a new commanding officer. We found out that Captain Solano, who we had tried to defend over the course of the beginning of the game, had actually been taken over by a Takan and was actively trying to sabotage her efforts with Portal. So uh, we made the difficult decision, thanks with uh, Commander Westbrook's help, and uh, did a mutiny, and now Captain Solano is in custody, and Jara is in command of the Resolute. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. Um, we still have Portal on our side, Portal 6-3. So let's go ahead and do this. The Arsenal of Eternity. Any sign of Sidron? Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Let's make this a short mission. All right? That's the plan. I'm no security officer. I'll do my best to make sure nothing happens to you, Captain. Thanks, Boo. Should we break out the phaser just in case? Probably not the best weapon to use on a crystallized ice planet. All right. As long as we don't melt what we're uh, standing on. Those are pretty. Portal's just chilling. Looks like... I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some way to activate it. Hmm. Portal, can you open it? It is a Taconian vault. I thought you'd never ask. Like, we got the master key right now. You're welcome. Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Thank you. Definitely easier this way. Let's be nice to our uh, super-powered alien companion. Well, this looks pleasant. Doesn't look like anything bad could happen here. This looks so Tholian. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. 
We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. So? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. He hasn't give us, given us call to doubt him yet. Uh, give me... Uh, yep, everything's still maxed out. If I have any real critique about this game, other than the few little dialogue bugs, which I don't think is that big of a deal, it's the fact that the game is very, very quiet. Hmm. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resolute. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Takon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. There we go. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. So that that's a very important clue that Portal doesn't know what's in here at all. Space Ocean. Portal? What is that void down there? Space folding upon itself. A fairly simple concept. For a Takan, perhaps? I advise against falling in. Noted. Westbrook's doing his thing. We'll talk to Portal. Let's. Oh. I should look elsewhere. Uh, okay. Are we about to lose our security chief? I hope not. Do you know what this place was used for? It feels familiar, but I'm not certain. The Empire was vast. I did not know every corner of it. And much was built after I became a portal. However, Takan would not build such a place without something precious to protect. Whatever that is, we have to find it before Galvin does. Ooh, maybe this is where they make the portals. That would definitely give them an access to a vast power. And why, uh... Oh. Portal would think it's familiar. Uh. Assume that that leads over here. Looks like it's all the same way, relatively. I am going the wrong way. So don't stand on the pad for too long.
extremely high particle density impassable with current Starfleet technology. Contains vast amounts of Taconian data, contents unable to be translated. Could be like a master computer. Extremely high particle density. Ooh. Soil. Just soil. It's not from this planet, nor any planet in the Federation database. Interesting. I can't actually switch. This here. This is soil from the homeworld. Our capital system. This isn't an arsenal. It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Takon. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like this. I may be right. You cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye. Forever. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takon Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being, even with your defenses up. I totally understand that feeling. It's unavoidable and inescapable no matter what you do. Yes, it's that distant but familiar feeling that's forever just out of reach. Hey, Sarah. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. No. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. It even looks like a Tholian ship. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship's schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. There she is. Descend. Well, if it's high power transporter technology, I have a theory, but yep, there are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry, probably right around the time we showed up. How many we got? That's a lot of Decon. But are they Scions, though? I 
I've seen these before. In the other vault. It is pretty. It's like the most all of those are the same as this. Then there must be hundreds of millions, if not billions. All that remains of the Dakon civilization. Distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. Given the size of this vault, there must have been tens of thousands of these cases, representing billions and billions of Takan. Hey, Corbas. On a truly massive scale, one your Federation can't easily contend with. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization, as a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness or injury. They were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. There he is. This was always their purpose, to restore the glory that was lost. He needs the monologue. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. Your friends died because of you. If you hadn't attacked us, there could have been a peaceful solution. I've seen the kind of results diplomacy gets in this. He sounds and looks like Michael Ironside. Blame me for wanting a quicker result. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Ophelion was built for. Thought so. Transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. Your time has passed. The Takan Empire is gone. Only to be reborn, better and stronger. I don't want to insult Portal. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. Oh no! You stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan. There we go. Brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Please be our side, Portal. Remember all the good times? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope 
hope we speak again, brother. Yeah. Of course, plot armor. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. Board a transport. I see. I sense our next moral dilemma. Don't do anything hasty. You have to hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because of you. And still, I've always stood by you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the field, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. She's giving some Ashley from Mass Effect vibes right now. Alien is coming into view now, Captain. On screen. Oh, it's straight out of Wing Commander prophecy. Wow, it even looks like one of the uh, Nathrakian ships, too. I don't want to kill all those Takan. Never mind. Those life forms are Takan. Not science. Takan. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Well, let's take their ammo. I ain't gonna kill them. And we get to take away their, uh... Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. Yes. Did I hear that right? That's an order. The storage crystals are on board in our cargo bay. Thank you. I won't forget this. Please don't screw me over. The mini. I hope you realize what you've done. We don't need another captain who's gonna risk our lives just to feed their ego. This ship and this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. This isn't about me. It's our duty as Starfleet officers to protect life, wherever and however we find it. And I couldn't let them fall into Galvin and Citron's hands. I had to do it this way. And to think. I used to look up to you. We're about Alien is targeting us, approaching rapidly. Time to bolt. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp. Get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now. Indulge yourself. Homecoming. Oh, right. You need to break open the TARDIS. There they are. Oh. 
Oh, thank you all. Yeah, he lost a very, very good friend. You did what had to be done with the Tasker. I know you held out hope, but it's what she would have wanted. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment. And it's not a question of her being a threat or not. Let's respect his beliefs. About freeing Tasker. If you believe, I'm sure you'll see her again. I do. And I shall. Well, at least he's not salty at us. Oh, no surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to seek baby, I'll get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. Can we go? Can we have a nap first? Maybe stop by the mess hall? People in the Federation do eat, right? You're really making us proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. I'm just getting started. Hey. She was a good little escape pod. Not that I want another ride like that anytime soon. Tell me, did any crew from the Zelti survive? Well, since the Lydian ships have no escape pods, I think it was just us. I see. I thought so. I had a partner on board. After this mission, she and I were meant to... Sorry. All that matters now is making the Takan pay for what they've done. We'll stop them. I promise. Use that anger. Diaz. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor. But they're bioformed. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. It means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us? We'll have to stop them, no matter what it takes. Yeah, I, I guess we have to be ready for that. Anyone else? I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him. But I can just imagine the look on his face. You know what? I want to see him too. It'll be nice to get one piece of normalcy. I'm sure we can count on him for that. Mr. Vulcan, sir. I can't believe it. You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it. That about sums it up. They're going to be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it. Everybody's going to learn how you pulled it off. Yeah, when they do, make sure they get my name right. D-I-A-Z. Diaz. It's a large too. I'm sure no one will forget. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? Oh, they don't know. He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. We'll just have to step up and work that much harder to help Captain Rydak. It's gonna take all of us. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? 
It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. I concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. I am stating facts, not looking for excuses. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes. I like his little smile. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. Even Diaz is like, ah, he loves us. Crosstalk. How are you two doing? I attended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta. Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here, on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Illidians are no longer enemies. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. Flirt! There's still a lot of bad blood. Maybe too much. Well, if there's any way I can help, let me know. I'll take you up on that. It's good to have the support of a Starfleet captain, I'm sure. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. That ship will sail. I swear it. We're almost done. Brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. Thank you for that lurk, Pesky. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms. So I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. And right now you need the full support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust. But an issue as divisive as this could create discord I still need and value contrary opinions I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise oh you'll know when lieutenant Petrosian doesn't agree with something she's not shy about making her opinion known it's been a chaotic last few days for everyone you need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming oh Lord You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust, but if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ermot. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. You really couldn't go wrong with either of them. At the moment, I'm leaning towards selecting Commander Westbrook as the new first officer. That would be an excellent choice, considering your history. He'll tell me when I'm wrong. I the fact you chose someone likely to challenge your opinions and present a different point of view. Exactly. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. I need to mend fences, though. Oh, Captain. there we go. I'll meet you inside. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. Oh. I cannot, in good conscience, continue to serve aboard this ship. Not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. Listen, Lieutenant. I understand how you feel, and I respect your opinion. You're one of the most valuable officers on the bridge. Which is why I cannot accept your resignation. I'm sorry, Captain, but I expected as much. Which is why I already submitted my letter of resignation to Starfleet Command. My 
door is always open if you change your mind. So much for mending fences. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections. Talk about moving up in the world. Not that I'm surprised in the least. These are unusual times, Mr. Chovak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. There were way more people involved than just me. Not only Petty Officer Edsalar, but... We had help from an Elidian officer named Arminta as well. Interesting. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Reindick, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan and their warship. It's irresponsible for her to resign, in my opinion. Yeah, it's one of those things like you can resign after the job is done. That's kind of beyond petty in the middle of a situation this severe to just be like, no, I don't want it. Lieutenant Bedrosian expected Jara's refusal, expected after she suddenly tendered her resignation back aboard the Resolute. Is what it is. The closest populations are the Hotari and Olivian systems. They are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that, lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know that as well as I do. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Ophelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can avoid? <sighs> Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. I wish I could tell you the solution, but the truth is, there is no easy answer. There's no defense against bioforming, one-on-one -on -one or on a mass scale. At least, not that I know of. Hmm. may not be able to stop it, but it might be possible to slow it down. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back. Ooh, she's going to have to sacrifice her well, stash. Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Yeah. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. 
The use case I'd suggest is that you could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? That would be nice, wouldn't it, Sarah? The Aphelion uses shields of some kind. I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydeck from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. I think Portal could still help us. If he can't get a first-hand look at the Aphelion, he might be able to identify weakness. After sparing the remnants of his civilization, I should hope he'd help us. Me too. We'll need to prepare a boarding party, if it comes to that. Petty Officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely going to need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Can we just... Anything else, Ambassador? Oh. I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. Can we stick the Takan on the Borg, maybe? Well, I guess we don't want the Borg assimilating the... I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Because Bedrosian wouldn't. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydeck for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydeck. Voice authorization, Irma, Echo 4 Lima. Oh, that's right, he's ops. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tank. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Charlie. Ooh. Voice authorization. Rydek. Charlie. Three. Whiskey. Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Here we go! Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. So, Bedrosian isn't there. Now, we got Ermot, who is good, but doesn't really seem to have that much of a personality and I don't think would really argue with us if we were doing something stupid. This man though with his Vulcan eyebrows the new first officer. Man of science. It's an honor and a pleasure to name 
Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Oh, he's sad. Commander, it's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS. <laughs> That's Q. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha Seven Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Now, is Ermont gonna quit on us? Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I won't argue with you about it. You very well might be right. But I had to trust my instincts, and that's what led me to Commander Westbrook. He may have been the expected choice, but that doesn't make him the best. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time, but I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. Yes, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. But I guess loyalty counts for nothing with you. Listen, I value your opinion more than just about anyone's. I rely on it. And if we're going to beat Galvin, I'll need your help now more than ever. So please, don't be discouraged. I'll be fine. Just give me some time. Okay. That's fine. If he's irritated, he's irritated. That that went better than Madrosian. Line of fire. I don't understand. Give me get everything she's got. It doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. I should go take care of this. Go. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. It looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. Great. If it's just us, I don't like our chances. We can't fight them on their terms. We have to be clever. Well, that ain't good. Hi, friends. We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run. That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to call than you were as a cowardly Kobliad. Ouch. Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight. You underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an 
instant if I so desired. But you're not. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Oh, here comes the drafting laser. Let's go! Faster, please. By the prophets. No time for the Cisco. Let's go, let's go! Chop, chop! Evasive maneuvers. Thank you. some of us got hit not all of us though which means we probably have baddies on board now they've hit the engineering section no systems or structural damage though guys yep They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. Hit him in the mouth. What are your orders? Photons! Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes, Captain. And its shields are fully intact. We'll try phasers now. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Well, that was the Takan bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. He already he knows. Takan may already be on this ship. No way of knowing how bad it is yet. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that's for the best. They didn't get hit. Okay. Now go. Get to the transporter. He's still with us. That's good. No. You better be able to spread your fingers. There you go. Hey! Follow Edsilar. Okay, let's go. Madness. Pardon me. Excuse me, guys. Hot soup coming through. Hello. Oh. Transporter room one. Hi. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated radium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, 
take it right before if you can get the Dakar to whip it while you do it. Our preventative measure. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signal. No, oh, okay, fine. We need to tunnel through the shields. I thought it was the other way. Other way, I was like, oh god, why do no, no. Right? Oh, there's a little section right here. Gotcha. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from the side. The portal's like, get out of the way. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Decon Empire. Hi, friend. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. Oh, Lordy. Almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern in hand. Time to mourn. Sorry, we gotta go. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am saturated in Taconian power readings. I can't feel the source just yet. Okay, well, we're here, and we just need to figure out what to do now that we're here. <laughs>